This is not your traditional pannier. This is a pannier that I made and designed <laughs> for my 17th century costume I made last year out of curtains. And I'd never made a pannier before. I had no idea how to make one. And I discovered very quickly that they are expensive and time consuming to make. And so I had to improvise. So this pannier, let me tell you what I like about it. <laughs> it's collapsible. And I have, uh, anyway, with my Halloween costumes, I, I have quite a few Halloween costumes. And storage for costumes can become difficult. And so a traditional pannier is made out of metal boning these strips of metal that build a cage around the body. So if you've ever seen a, a Marie Antoinette dress, it has these huge hips on the side of the dress. And, uh, and so that's what's underneath the dress is this big heavy metal cage. I didn't have the means the time, the money, and it was, uh, I, I started making my dress last year in October. I didn't even have time to order supplies and get them shipped in to even work on it. So uh, anyway, I went to Home Depot and I came up with a new idea. <laughs> I asked the guys at Home Depot if they had anything that was uh, a decent consistency uh, that would be sturdy. And anyway, we found this, uh, this roll, this giant roll of plastic hanger strap. And this is used in plumbing, apparently. <laughs> well, I built a pannier out of this. And uh, this pannier, I showed, sewed strips, I sewed strips into an old sheet. And then I sewed a waistband around it. And then to keep, it's actually a collapsible, so this stores super easily. So it just collapses, collapses like this. So to keep it open, I have this piece of fabric that is pinned across the top that I put a wooden dowel in. So you can just take it out for storage. And I just use safety pins. This is not fancy. <laughs> so um, anyway, so I have my wooden dowel that I cut. And I'm just gonna show you because I'm gonna try this on for you so you can see what it looks like. But uh, this was just a, a makeshift project. <laughs> And I really didn't know what I was doing or how I was gonna make this work, but I had time constraints. And whenever that happens, because I am a DIY type personality, I just figure out how to get things done. So, um, so this, uh, this project, this dress, I store it, uh, store it easily in a Tupperware container. And I'll also tell you that uh, some of the panniers that I looked at online are really, really beautiful. And maybe one day uh, I'll try to make an authentic pannier. But for now, uh, this has worked really well. So as you can see, I just shoved that wooden dowel in. And I then I'm just gonna safety pin. I just overlap the fabric. These are all scrap fabrics and old sheets that I had because I really didn't know if this project was gonna turn out. And that has kind of been the story of my life with crafting. I don't know how things are gonna turn out. Uh, and so why spend money, uh, tons of money on projects uh, that I've never done before. And so I just make it work and f things always seem to turn out. So let me show you, let me just show you how I put this on. Um, and I'm getting ready, I'm getting ready to go take photos in my 17th century costume up at my friend's house right now. She has a turret out in front of her house. Uh, and so she said I could go take some, some fancy photos. But I tie these things to my hips, just tie this around my waist. And here you go. And then I have this skirt, here's the skirt for it. And I just put this over the top. And there you go, see I've got those big hips. They were really stylish back in the day. So uh, anyway, that is uh, just a brief explanation of how I built my pannier. And I encourage you to do some research uh, on these to see you know, what, what really fits your budget and what's realistic for you for a costume. I have yet to see collapsible panniers before so I think these are the first of its kind and I just figured it out as I went along <laughs> but they look great under the dress and the dress looks great on and that's the whole point for me anyway so uh, anyway if you'd like more details on this project 
I have more photos that I'm posting on my website. So visit the everythinghousewife.com for more details. Also, I readjusted my corset. It is now a lace back corset, so it's adjustable in case I lose or gain any more weight. <laughs> and it looks really beautiful. It's a really beautiful costume. So I'm excited to share photos of that. So anyway, visit the everythinghousewife.com.